Tina Traster of the Rockland County Business Journal. Good morning. Good morning, Rockland County. The Tina's report every Monday brought to you by the Ugell Law Firm. Hello, I'm Scott Ugell of the Ugell Law Firm. I don't have to tell you how our world has dramatically changed. Today, many people are suffering financially and often do not know where to turn for help as they have many questions. I have been practicing consumer law for over 35 years and have handled thousands of cases where we help people save their home through loan modifications and or forbearance agreements by going to state Supreme Court, bankruptcy court, or without having to go to court at all. Please give me a call as every situation is different, and let me tell you how I might be able to help you or someone you love. I'm Scott Ugell of the Ugell Law Firm. All right, so what have you got for us? All right, uh, the 20-acre campus of the Rockland Country Day School uh, after it closed down. And um, a portion of this property is open space. And upon the purchase of this property, there was some perception, perhaps, uh, that it, w it might remain open space or um, be used for recreational purposes, though the hint of putting affordable senior housing on that site was mentioned back at the time of purchase um, amid all of the um, excitement and cameras clicking and press and whatnot. So fast forward now. And the town um, has, I guess it has a philosophical issue to deal with and it has a perception issue to deal with. Philosophically, can, uh, can the town leaders argue that it is the town's responsibility to try to create affordable senior housing in a town where um, pres presumably many seniors flee because they can't afford to downsize once, once they sell their homes? Um, or is that a, a free market function? So, so there's one philosophical question that, that is, is being pondered around this property uh, because of some discussion and, and, and seemingly intention to put affordable housing um, on the uh, lower portion of this site. They, the town um, had planned to vote on a zoning change uh, earlier in the week and they sort of uh, you know, put a speed bump on that and held off with a zoning vote. Uh, but the real issue around that is that they recognize that there is some opposition to putting development on this site. And um, what what I suppose the next philosophical question is 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 this a a, um, a does the town have a a perception problem here? <clears throat> In other words, is there a perception that Clarkstown is becoming uh, too quick to develop its its large open parcels? Uh, the question becomes: Do we have? Will there be too much senior housing? Or is the perception that this is a good site for affordable housing? Uh, this is and and that affordable housing that that the town has a moral imperative to create affordable senior housing. Uh, now, what they're calling affordable senior housing, according to the numbers that have been crunched, is about sixteen hundred and sixty-six dollars per month uh, for a unit. So, but that I, that presumably would also be um, subsidized, and uh, this site, as as it's zoned, if it were zoned as the town wants it to be rezoned, would allow for 130 could allow up to 130 units. So that would bring in, <clears throat> let's say, just on average, maybe about 200 seniors. And then you know you have you have there. Here's another argument to consider: if you bring in 200 seniors to that location, um, you know, in on Kings Highway, uh, does that stimulate n nearby um, commercial opportunities for business in Congress? Uh, you know, where that that uh, town, you know, where the the, the hamlet uh, money has been put in to beautify the hamlet, but. Is, is the commercial sector there all that it can be, or you know, would this influx of, of, of uh, citizens 
uh, potentially stimulate some some business opportunity around uh, the the Congress uh, train station. So it's 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 an interesting. Um, this is going to be an interesting one to watch because at the uh, town meeting, town council meeting last week, a, a, many residents came out to oppose the, uh, the 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 potential development of senior housing on the site. Even Jerry O'Rourke, who is the president of the Congress Civic Association. Uh, and yet there are seniors, of course, or older people in the community who, who want affordable senior housing, want more affordable senior housing. And so, um, you know, uh, the, the town uh, leadership is going to have to thread a very interesting needle here because this is not a case of um, a developer coming to the town, an independent developer coming to the town and wanting to put <clears throat> housing or anything else on a, on a, to develop a parcel. This is the town itself making a decision about what to do with a parcel that it owns. Um, in fact, in fact, just as a, just as a, 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 a footnote here, the town can do whatever it wants on town-owned land. But that said, you know, there's an understanding that this is a, a high-profile piece of property. It's a 20-acre property. It's bucolic. It's it's iconic, uh, and so it, it, this will be an interesting one to watch in the context of other development pressures that are ongoing in the town, and as well as the the need for senior housing continues to um, to, to be an issue. Uh, so interesting story. Uh, Keep a pin in this one, and we will watch how this one un unravels, because uh, it, it, w it will. <laughs> one way or the other, it's some something you know will happen here. Uh, so that's uh, that's 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 the story for last week. I think to watch. Um, today we put up a, a nice story about um, a, an umbrella, a promotional umbrella company called Stromberg Brands. And we wrote a story there. There, um, the the well, the proprietor of that business uh, passed away very suddenly last March, and the business, uh, the torch is being taken up by the the wife and and his daughter. So, um, sweet story, an interesting story where you can really see the dynamics of family members who are involved in a business together. Uh, and just everything else that's going By on. By the way, um, you had talked a while ago about the uh, old uh, B BMW, not BMW, um, with the motorcycle place, whatever they were. Uh, I can't remember the name now. Oh yeah, where the where the um, on 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 three hundred four. Yeah. Yeah, I think something something came came uh, something there now. The Harley Davidson. Yeah, something did go in there. Yeah, was it a furniture store or something? Might, might, might have been the new Bobs, but there was also uh, talk of a Volkswagen dealership taking over another place in Clarkstown. I don't know if that ever came to pass. Do you remember what the, somebody asked me about, so I'm asking you. Yeah, I, I, know that, I know that Jaguar is trying to build a location uh, on, where is it, on three, 303 by the Palisades Mall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're in discussions with the town to put a, uh, um, a Jaguar uh, dealership into the town but i'm not sure about volkswagen it, it, i'm not sure somebody just you know one of the callers have we get so many calls during the course of a morning happened to mention that and then i i tried to explore it because somebody wanted to know where it was they didn't quite get the location and nobody else knew about it and i can't remember who the caller was who's, who you know spurred my interest initially in it yeah well i will uh i'll, I'll take a look at that and See if anything's on the books. I mean, business overall seems to be pretty healthy in that town. Uh, oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, hang on a second. Yep. Okay, yeah. No, you know what? I, it's it's this is this is a story that we did back in 2019. Volkswagen dealership to fill former Bob's discount furniture. Oh, the former Bob's. Yes, so, in in yes in Nanuet. But I'll I'll see if that ever happened because I'm not sure. And then that, that then apparently the the the, the new Bob's. Don't, I hope I'm not wrong about the new location for Bob's would be where the old um, motorcycle place was. That could be. That, yeah, I think that's the way it worked. Yeah, but that's that's what we reported back in 2019. So yeah, perhaps uh, it actually it, yeah I think it, it it probably is there because uh, I'm looking at this. Yeah, they took a long term lease. 
yeah, so maybe there was, were you thinking about getting yourself No, 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 I'm, I'm not thinking about any getting <laughs> anything. I got a 10-year-old car, and it's going to be 20 years old if I have anything to do about it. But um, a listener wanted to know, and I'm just a messenger. <laughs> yeah. So, well. yeah, I feel the same way. I'm just a messenger. So. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, anyway, I wanted to remind readers to sign up for free uh, daily e-blast. That goes out Monday through Friday. It's free. Just go online Good on the sure. site rcbizjournal.com and sign up. All right, Tina Trask of the Rockland County Business Journal brought to you by the Ugell Law Firm. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you next week. Talk to you real soon.